recording. Now, this is like a really dynamic form of Pilates, Joe. So you have, are you familiar? Have you ever tried Pilates or anything like that? Now, let's see how you go. Let's see how you do. Let's see how you go. Okay, don't worry. You're muted right now. So if you guys need to tell me anything else, just, you know, send me a private message. Let me, let me get my mat. So here we go. Night down. Now. Okay, so it's starting nice and low. So if you are feeling quite loose in your hamstring, start it with the straight leg. If you're feeling a little, you know, you need to a bit, a bit, a bit of time to loosen up. Start with the slightly bent leg. Now inhale here. Exhale, hold down to your thighs, chest onto the sides, and then start to straighten the legs out. Maybe one leg at a time. Start to find your hamstrings. Now inhale, pull the shoulders back and down. Exhale, forward, four, and three, and two. Now roll your way up. Let's go again. So if you need to, just bend the knees again. Otherwise, let's get inhale up. Exhale, down for four, three. Find a nice stretch. Now inhale, pull yourself into a flat back, open chest, the shoulders back. Exhale, reach forward for four and three and two. Nice one. Gently roll up, shoulders back and down. And now from here, fingertips on the floor is for the feet. So it's flex and point. And flex and point. Just flex and point. Now, if merely sitting up straight is a, a bit challenging, it can be. So just tip yourself up slightly with your fingers. You want this neutral spine. Pull up. Go flex and point. Well done, Joe. And point. Here's flex. And point, Andrea, so you so adept at this now. She's so used to it. She's got exactly where to, to position the camera like. Now, hold down to that flex foot from here. We're focusing, going into the hip socket. Now, turn out, point, parallel, and flex. So, turn out. You see the whole leg's going to move. Yeah, two more. Turn out, point, flex. There you go. Like, now, hold it in the flex. Now, really, really pull out those abs. So, lift and lower. Inch up. If this is really, really challenging, with the leg bent slightly, yeah? So inch up and lower, inch up. So there's no leaning back whatsoever. It's all into this pelvic floor. Go up and back and up and back. Last two. Now guys, hold it up, let's lift, lift. So really squeeze into the pelvic floor and lift and lift. Suck the stomach in nice and tight. Eight, seven and six, five, yes, four, three and two. Hold down now, take a gentle tuck. So really pull, pull the belly button towards your spine and then tuck slightly under. And then arms out to the side to start. From here, leg out to the side and back. Out, so exactly. And out. The challenge, be, challenge being that there's no flipping around of the pelvis. That's right, nice. So bring the leg out to the side and back. Out to the side and back, guys. It's out. Now for those of you who are feeling really strong, out to the side, back. Lean back, lean back, guys. Come on. And out for eight, <laughs> that's it. And lean and back, two more out. And now the leg out to the side, little press, I'll go pulse. And press, 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 nice, press and press. So out that way, that direction, go press. So over that way, that way is five and four, three and two, coming through, come back to that parallel right leg we have to start with. Inhale, reach, and so have a little stretch right here, four and three. And to start to roll yourself up. Now come up, sit down nice and tall again. Here we go, the feet. So point, turn out, flex, and parallel. So point, turn out, flex, parallel. Two more, point, turn out. That's it, flex, parallel. Last one, up. Oh. And now hold on to that turn out with the inner side lift. Where my hand is, is where the, where the muscle is working. Up and lower, lifting up and lower. Now really checking the posture now. It's up. And they were not even a little bit back, not yet, yeah? So sit up tall. It's up if, you are, if it's needed, hands behind you. Last two, hold it up here, and now lift. Little pulses, go press, really turn out. Really, really turn out, yeah? So it's all up to that inner side right there. And press, and up, and up. Personally, I hate this bit. Here's five. Yes, Vanessa, get those arms up. What are you doing? Yes, and four. Three, now guys, hold it here. Now gentle tuck, so you're gonna really lean back slightly. Arms out all over your head. Uh. Take it out and back and out. You only go out as far as you can without flipping the pelvis over. So this is all core stability right here. And out and back, yes, and the sides too. And four, back, and three, back, last two. Now hold it right out there. 
Now pressing that way, that way. You're out, out, that's right, out, out. For modifications, simply keep the arms there, come on. And out, and out. I will tell you, Nancy, you are not all, whichever version you do, you don't hold your leg. Whichever version you do, you do not hold your leg, yeah? Two more, out. Now hold it here, move the leg back. One more stretch, well done, everybody. Now we're going into some core. That's a little warm up for those to size and glute, now from here. Now, gently modification, legs slightly bent. Otherwise, we roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae, inch by inch. It's four and three. Inhale at the bottom, exhale up. Two, three and four and down. Two, to make it a little easier, you bend the legs very gently. Oh, you don't go all the way. All the way down, two, three. Inhale, exhale up, and two, and three. One more, guys, it's down, and two, three, and four. Now come up halfway, hold it right here. Inch up, inch lower, inch up, inch lower, inch up, inch lower, inch up, arms over the head for some of you. For modification, just reaching forward. It's up and lower. And up and lower. Here's four. Lower. Oh, you catch up on you. That's it. Last two. And now hold it. Hands behind the head. Start to roll down. Bring the knee over your hip. So you look like a chair that's split sideways. Now gently push your legs out to 45 degrees, maybe even lower, and come back to 90 degrees. That's it. The whole time, listen, your spine never leaves the mat. The whole time, your spine is glued to the mat, guys. So it's out for two and in. So the whole spine is pressed into the mat, especially when the legs go out. Out for two. To make it easier, just send the legs a bit higher. Double time. It's out and now start to crunching up. When the legs go out, you crunch. Go out, you crunch. So upper abs, lower abs. And out and back. Here's four. Back. Three. Back. Here's two. Now, everything up. So you're crunching up the legs out. Now, from here, guys, head and shoulder off the, off the floor. Leg up, down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. Now, try to send your legs to the other side of your hips. Yes. And now, so it's forward the other side of the hips. Come on, legs back up. We only just got started, guys. What are you doing? And then down an inch. Only person who's allowed to take a quick break is Joe. It's her first class with me. All you guys have known this is up and lower. Guys, down an inch, up an inch, last two. Now hold the legs steady. Release the arms and start to roll up. So the upper body comes up, the legs don't move. The legs don't move. Now the legs will stay there with you roll down. Two, and up for two, three, and down for two. If it's too challenging, bring the feet back onto the mat and then just do gentle curl up from there. And four, eight more, here we go. Up for two and down for two. Up for two, for modification, put the feet down. Up for two and down for two. We have four more here, guys, come on. Four more, here we go, it's up, hold and down. Nancy, last three, straighten those legs out, come on. Last two, come on, legs up and straight. Get those legs up, come on, that's it. Now hold it here and hold it here, well done, five. Try to smile, this is a warm up. Four, three, and two, quick hold, well done, have a hold. Now roll over onto your front, well done. So shoulders over the wrist in the perfect box position now. You push one leg behind you, give your, see really push the heels away, give your calf, and calf muscle a nice stretch right there, yeah? And then put down, no, don't worry, I haven't gone crazy. This will pick up the pace. So push the heels away, stretch the calf muscle, and down. So we walk the leg out, and out, and knees down. And up, knees down. Now slowly, as you get start to feel stronger, knees stay off the mat. Give up and down, and up. If this is a bit challenging, just keep touching the knee down. So basically, if you're feeling strong, you start with the knee down, knee down, knee down. If you're feeling, if you're just getting into it, then you go the reverse. You go knee up and up, yeah? Here we walk it out. It's eight, seven, six, five, let's say four. Three, either in plank or you're on all fours, you straighten the right leg up. And now let's lift, lift. Modification, left knee on the floor, right leg up, lift and lift and lift. Shoulders over the wrist, come on. Lift and squeeze and squeeze. Here's eight, 
seven. Well done, well done. Yes, I know. And four and three. Hold it right here, guys. And now from here, squeeze, release, curl, release, hamstring curl, release, hamstring curl. Anytime you need to really need to take a break, just bring the opposite knee down. But that option is not available for some of you. You know who you are. Now curl. Really, yes, Vanessa. Yeah. Last two. Yeah, and you enjoy it, but I don't need to step, step you. Now hold it here. Now curl up and press. Oh my God. And press. If the wrists are hurting, you can go to your forearm. And press, 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 press. Yes, eight, seven, six, five. Now have a look, guys. From here, you touch your knee down. You lift up and you straighten. Here you go. Touch down. Knee up. Now, the other version, the, the left knee is always on the mat. That's the other version. Touch down and up, straighten, back out. That's why, touch down and up, straighten. Four more, knee down, curl, stretch, and bend. Two, three more, up, stretch, and bend. Yes, guys, I have my ass handed back to me by someone, <laughs> some other instructors. Well done, guys, hold it here. Now, everyone onto your elbows. From here, the leg go out and back and out and back. It's a final challenge, yes. So out, and so on your elbows give you more stability, you can still keep the other knee down, yeah? Especially if you're quite new to this. It's, it's a long plank, so I don't blame you. Yeah, it's unusual. Four more. People that know it's not unusual in my class. Last two. Hold it right here, now press up, go squeeze, squeeze. So the leg is out to the side, 45 degrees maybe, and squeeze up and up. That's eight, seven, six, five. You got a little rest. Four, three, two. Well done. Now bring the knees down. Now come back onto all fours. And uh, so basically you bring that leg down. You come back onto all fours. You bring the same leg out again and lift up lower. Guys, this is familiar. Yeah, up and low. And up and low. Just lift and lower. Pull the abs in nice and tight. Last two. Now, guys, hold the leg out. Now, squeeze knee to the chest and extend. Extend. A knee to the chest. Extend. That's it. So, when, like, in order to pull the knees together, suck that belly button to the spine. Four more. Nine. And exhale. Here is your, here is your active recovery, guys. Three more. <laughs> now, some of you don't need the recovery. Tuck the toe under. Lift that knee up. Let's carry on. And back. Last one here. Now everybody get that knee up. Now in and press. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Breathe out, breathe in. That's right, Nancy, bring that knee closer to the stronger you are, the closer that, mat, that knee is to the mat. Nice and in, four more, and in, and back. Now try to keep that knee only uh, two to three inches of the mat. Hold it here, the leg back, press, press, and press. I promise you this is it, go press, press. And now have a look. Go push up, lift, down. Optional with the knee down. Yeah, down, lift. Here's four, up, three. Yes, last two. Guys, hold it halfway. Keep breathing, everybody. Keep breathing. And five, four, three, two. Well done. Bring that knee down. And then keep that leg straight. Flip onto your side. Ready for side plank up for two and down for two. And up for two. Now optional. Both knees down is probably the easiest option. Top leg can be straightened. And up. Now we're here for a while, so pace yourself, yeah? Up for two. And down for two. Up for two. Squeezing that glute to lift off the floor. Shh. Nice. Now last two. Do you want to straighten the legs? For those of you who, have, who can do the side plank. Last one, guys. Hold it up here. Either the knee down or knee up from here. You crunch, release, one dip and press. Crunch, release, dip and press. Crunch, it's the same if you're on your knee, yeah? So you go crunch, release, dip and press. Crunch, that's the other version if you're on your knee, yes? And crunch, up, two more guys, come on. I did say you're gonna hear for a while. Are we sweating already? Yeah, last two <laughs> and down. Last one guys, hold it here and press, pose, pose either there, or you straighten the bottom leg, come on, and press, press, here's eight, seven, six, five, yes, four, three, two, well done, now step the top leg behind you, 
lean on your side. So now that top leg goes behind and you lay down for it. So this bottom leg goes out 45 degrees. All turn out toes to the floor. Now press up, lower, inner thigh up, low, and up, lower, and up. Well done. So inner thigh, really turn out that leg. Yeah, that's it. Nice, Joe. Are you sure you really never done any Pilates? That's great. Um, so into that inner thigh, it's a sharp connection between the inner thigh and up the power floor and the deep core right there. Keep going, guys. What are you doing? And up and low. And up. Yes, Nancy. Last four. Last three. Well done, everybody. Now it's really challenging. I understand. Now hold it up. Well done. Hold it at the top there. Pose. 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 Now I can tell you my inner thighs not really do. My abs are killing me. Yeah, it's into that abs. For those of you who are feeling steady, reach up for the sky, press, press, just the four, three, hold it here, let's do a circle with this heel. I don't mind which way you circle, but let's circle. Imagine that heel, pencil growing out of the heel, and the heel is doing the circle. Well done. Circle. Keep moving. Yes, I have to look, otherwise some of you really are stopping. I'm not going to name who. <laughs> hold it at the top here. Breathe. And now carry on, press. Press, so it's the middle bit. Now we're gonna go circle the other direction. In five and four, three and two guys, let's circle the other direction. Oh my God. I don't mind telling you, man. Oh, circle. You're my third, you're my oh, fourth class today, so forgive me. And last two. And guys, final push. Very free, right at the highest point there, now press. If you're feeling really strong, get right onto your side. So get right onto your side and press and press, it's very, very challenging. You're working with the weight of your whole leg. And five, and four, three, and two, well done. Now swap the position of the leg. So the, the legs go back behind, and the back leg comes forward, but you're still working that same leg. But if you can't reach the ankle, simply step, simply press into the knee, and keep that knee open. And the bottom leg is still working. The same leg is still working. Go up, press, and up, well done. And press, lift. Try not to have that leg touch the floor. Pressing up and up. Well done, everyone. Now we're going to hold it here for four, three. Now the leg is there. Now you remove the top leg and attach the heel to the knee. So like a passe position. Now here, obliques. Now up, lower. Up, lower. Yes, up. Oh my God, this is juicy. Lower and lower. Can you turn out the bottom leg? So the toes touching the floor. Nice one. Now, guys, hold it up and now pulse, pulse. If you're feeling very steady, arms in fifth. So you don't need any balance. Arms in fifth over your head. So you're really balancing right on your side. And five, exhale. Four, three, two. Well done, everybody. Now come in, both knees together and give yourself a little stretch. So like a little frog. Oh, my inner thigh is arm. <laughs> well done. Now hold down. You can just stretch at your own time. I turn around so you, can, so you don't have to turn around. I turn around so you can see the side that is moving. So we start with the right leg, we end with the left leg. Now we're onto the other side, we're starting with the left leg, yeah. So that's the inner side. The leg that did the inner side just now will be the leg that is starting. Now into the plank. Now give your calf muscles a nice stretch. Give your calf muscles a nice stretch. Would this panic you very much if I say that's a warm up? Now press. Now it's part of the class. Work. Really stretch your calf muscle. And now if this is perfectly fine for you to stay at this pace, some of you feeling stronger, start to keep the knees off the floor. Start to lift the knees off the floor. Otherwise, just every time, just bring the knees back onto the mat. Yeah, that's it. And now to progress, you start to keep the knees off the floor. Walk out those feet. Four and three and two. Now find your plank, slow that left leg up. Now press. Press, up, and up, get up, and up, nice one. So the same thing to the other side. Now lift, and lift, well done. Now really pull those abs in to stabilize the back. Here's another five, shoulders over the wrist. Three, hold it here, guys. Now exhale, curl the hamstring, inhale back. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Exhale, inhale, up, and low. If you're really struggling, Bring the opposite knee down for a bit, but not, try not to. And then see, you know the option is not available to you. And uh, well done, curl, well done. Now just hold it here. Heel close your bum, now press up. Up, well done, everybody. Well done, well done. 
exhale, exhale, breathe out and out, just a five and four, three, well done now, with the knee touch down to the mat, lift up, straighten and bend, touch down, up, straighten, bend, touch down, up, straighten and bend, touch down, up, straighten, four more, and down, up, straighten and bend, three more, down, separate the shoulder blades, so push away from the shoulders, two more, last one guys, it's down, it's up, hold it, now with onto your elbows everybody, now move the leg out to the side, back, and out to the side, then back, out to the side, then back, out to the side, now try to do the transition without putting the knee down, Nancy, you can get that knee back up now, you're on your knee for long enough, well done everybody, four more, and it's out, back, three more, out, back, last two, now hold on out to the side, well done everybody, and now press up, up, I know this is very demanding, keep breathing, exhale, exhale, and breathe, breathe, just the eight, seven, and six, and five, well done, four, three, two, oh my God, so coming down onto your knees, and then back on all fours, so you bring yourself back on all fours, that same leg is still moving, it's up, lower, yes, up, lower, and up, lower, well done, again, this is where you catch your breath, yeah, both hips facing the floor, pull the abs in so there's no movement in the back, so this here is actually very chilled, very relaxing right here, last two, and now hold it up, exhale, knee to the chest, contract, inhale back, yeah, exhale, knee, inhale back, now, if this is plenty enough, then just keep, stay on this, on this uh, version. Exhale, inhale. For those of you who, are, who knows what it's about, cut the toes under, lift the knee off the floor. Exhale, inhale. The trick here is that the knee never go far from the floor. It's one fist distance between your knee and the floor. One fist. And it stays that way. Yeah, forward. Last four, can we all get that knee up? Exhale. Inhale, nice one. Focus on breath. Exhale. If the leg is low, so be it. Last two. Breathe out and breathe in. Last one. Hold it up behind you now. Press, 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 press for eight, seven, six. Andrea will tell you we have the ball under our knees. Sometimes that's harder. Four, three. I don't know if she remember that. Now press up, lift, and down. If you're struggling, the opposite knee can come down. It's all fine. Yeah. Four more. Come on, guys. And down. Some of you, you know you should have the knee off the floor. Vanessa, come on. Last two. Knee off the floor. Last one. Yes, man. Hold it halfway for me. Come on, meet me here. And pulse. 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 Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, my God. You guys are amazing now. Keep the bottom leg bent on your side. Hi. Now it's up for two and down. Now you know the deal. We're here for a while. So by all means, stay on your knees if you really prefer. Yeah, because if you're not used to this, it's horrible for the shoulders. Yeah, back. Nice one. Going up. Some of you who knows about planks, who knows about lifting the weight off the shoulders, that option is not available. So <laughs> last four, should I... Go into a full side plank and down. Three more, up, up, and lower. Last two guys, come on, knee up or down, up to you. Now everyone stay up, hold it here. Now contract, release, one dip and up. Exhale, inhale, dip and up. Yes, exhale, inhale, dip and up. Elbow to the knee, stretch, dip and up. Four more, elbow, knee, dip and up, that's it, three more, in, out, dip, last two, and that's the version where it's a modification, with the bottom knee down, hold it here, now reach, squeeze, 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 that's why, yes, the bum is off the floor, whichever version you do, yes, squeeze, come on, Andrea, beautiful, good, squeeze, nice, Nancy, four, eight, seven, yes, Vanessa, I know the legs long, we got a lot of legs to get round, four, three, Two. Oh my God, well done. Now step the top leg behind. Bring the bottom leg forward. Oh man. Now, inner thigh. So it's up, lower. Up, lower. Now Angela's doing the harder version, for me anyway. She is on her side. That is available, but it is harder. Yeah. 
and you want to be made really sure that you at no point sink onto the side. Yeah, well done, babe. So myself, I really prefer to do like that. Up and low. Go up, last two, up. So lift that, hold on right here. At the top here, now press. Where my hand is where is the muscles working. Right where my, I'm pinching right here. That's the muscles you are focusing on. Lift, lift. And that lifts right up the pelvic floor into the deep core right here. And here's for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Guys, freeze. Circle. You know, it was getting a bit windy. I closed the window. I'm regretting this now. And circle. Four more. Four, you'll do me good. And three. Here's two, guys. And hold it at the highest point where, guys, meet me here. And press up, back up. Huh? So press again, yeah? So really flex the foot. Connect with that back of the leg, right? It's a bit of the size that's weak. It's a bit of the size that really doesn't get enough attention. Here's four, three. Guys, hold it and circle the other way. As I say, if you watch replay, you probably see I'm circling the same direction. <laughs> I told you guys to remember, and chances are I don't, yeah. So circle that leg, five, yes. And four, pull the abs in, it's all abs, yeah. And two, and now one more push at the highest point, now pulse, lift, lift. Oh my God, it's on fire, it's on fire. For eight, seven, six, five well done everybody and three and two hold now change your leg so the leg goes back and the back leg comes forward if you can reach your ankle reach forward otherwise just keep it out actually there's another version where you do that but the spine goes into a bit of a twist so i really don't like it because the spine sort of collapsed yeah so now we lift 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 nice and if you can reach your ankle it's quite fun and reach and reach here's up and up up just the four more and we go to that variation to finish hold on now attach the heel to that inner side both legs turn out see the bottom toe is pointing down to the floor now lift lower feeling strong arms in fifth lift lower it's a bit of obliques as well now go lift lower lift here's four. Oh my god and three and two now hold on little pauses so the bottom leg never touch your floor. Watch my leg, you never touch your floor. Never touch your floor, guys. It's eight, seven, six, five, yes, four, three, two. Oh my God, nice one. Now into the floor. Now open into the broke leg, the heels, soles of the feet together, and give yourself a little rotation here. Little rotation here. Oh my God, now hold on to those legs. Give yourself a few rocks. Really nice rocks on the mat. So it's nice and comfortable in the spine, and we make our way up slowly now at the end, at the foot of the mat, keeping your head nice and low. Now step the feet in together. If the knee slightly bent, and then bend the knee some more, and then bend it some more. So the chest are resting on the sides. Inhale here, exhale, straighten the legs up. So it's a very strong hamstring stretch. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straighten the legs. One more inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straight on the legs. Now scoop the navel to the spine and roll it up. Now, guys, we can start to angle our camera again. So because we're going to be standing up. Well done, everybody. That's the flow sequence. We might revisit or we will revisit before the class finish. Well done. So now you need your mat. We well, don't need the mat, but I will have the mat because I want to protect the floor here. You need a chair and a bit of wall, a bit of wall nearby. So here we go. We always go into this so in the bar. We do for the turn out. And it's not just in bar, this is a, a, apply all the time. Your quad, your quad, your knee, your toe, your quad, quad, knee, toes should always point in the same direction. So right from here, yes, hydrate guys, hydrate. Don't wait until I stay, because I always forget. I don't hydrate until I'm done. <laughs> Very bad habit, really bad. So now chest open, shoulders back, find your posture guys. Now the turn out what happens in a hip socket. You watch the legs, it goes out, back. Out, yeah, so the whole leg moves. My hands is there to show you. Yeah, the whole leg goes out, back, yes, out. So you take the leg out from the hip socket. It turns out and back. Last two, and now hold on to the turn out, guys. Now step out to second. So if your feet are two o'clock, 10 o'clock, and let's drop, go sit, press. Nice, one sit. If you're looking for a posture, it's one straight line. It's not a squat, yeah, press. Nancy will have to come back in. I think she's frozen. Now, 
Imagine sliding up and down a wall. Go press and press. You are getting into the outer side and glue inner side as well. Four is eight, seven, and six. Five, well done, it's four, and three. And now stay nice and still arms in first position. In second position, hugging a friend. Now one leg up, low. Doesn't matter which one first. You, you move the leg you want to work first. Yeah. Well done, so I'm just gonna let Nancy back in. So lift up and low. It's the same leg up. For me, it's, I'm moving my right leg. And up, low, and up. Lower, here's four, and lower, and three. Nothing else moves, just this leg. Now hold it here, watch first. You have, keep your legs a little stretched. Keep your feet a little stretched. So lean into this leg with the heels up, stretch out the feet. Five, ready, stretch it, four, three. Now move yourself back to center, press. So it's asymmetrical, yeah, press. Press, framing your face, framing your gorgeous face, ladies. It's fifth position arms, and press. Nice, the hips are level, but the legs are not the same, yeah? And for five, and sit, four, three, and two. Stay nice and low, slow the arms in second. Now turn into parallel position, and open back out. So turn into parallel, and open back out. Last two, shh, and open. Last one, guys, hold it right here, and now I'm gonna back into a wall, yeah? So my feet, my feet are up the wall, but my toes are on the floor. So imagine wearing those the little heels that's not possible to walk in, basically. So your heels, your whole soles of the feet up the, up the wall, but your toes are down on the floor. And you're in a weird semi-split position, yeah? And then you're gonna bend, bend both legs equally. So you come to two perfect 90 degree angle. Front knee never go past the ankle. And let's sit. Well done. Now, if you're worried, here's your chair handy. Drop, drop. And uh, yeah, Vanessa, you're, you can probably can just grab hold of something nearby if you need a, a bit of support. Well done, guys. This is very challenging. So do not fret. It's supposed to burn like that. Yeah. And press. Now, my head to my knee is one vertical straight line right here. So try not to go there. And basically, that's how, people, how we cheat. The back leg hardly moves. But the idea is both legs are moving equally. So bend, sit, press, and press, and drop, and drop. Here's eight, seven, six, five. That's it, four, three. Now find your balance. Front heel up, lower. Front heel up, sitting lower. Front heel up, lower. Front heel up, four more. It's up, lower. Three more, up, lower. Last two. Now front heel stay up, one arm. The other arm, let's sit, go press, press, go drop, nice one. If the arm is convincing, just reach up, yeah, sit, come on, press, come on, sit, I know, horrible, press, press, the burn you get in bar is not like a burn anyway, just because you stop doesn't mean you stop burning, so you might as well get used to it. Even if you stop, it carries on burning anyway. And five, four, three, guys, hold, have a quick stretch. Oh my God, but keep the feet right there because we're going back in right here now. Heels are down, as low as you can, come up two inches. Ah! As low as you can, come up. Now, I used to say, touch the floor and come up. But it's a lot, a lot harder against the wall. So I'm not gonna demand you to touch the floor because chances are this is gonna happen. Yeah, you want to keep that knee above the ankle. Last four more, up two inches. Three more, up two inches. Two more up two inches, last one, hold it. Front heel comes back up, final hold here, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, nice one, stretch out. Now move the chair to, your, to the side. So I'm gonna carry on working the leg that is behind. So my right leg, basically. So you want the chair on your left. You go into plie, and then you lean onto the chair. I have knee space. So you go into plie in second, and lean onto your chair, go down. Down and lean, lean, yes, down. Ready, sit. Now some of you, you're familiar, you can take a twist and reach, yeah. Take it, if that's a bit confusing, just don't worry about it. Just focus on the plie. Now guys, double time, here we go. You sit, lift, down, lift, down, up, down. Guys, four more, it's down, it's up, down, up, last two, and up, last one, hold it here. Now elbows on your chair, 
Now press, press. I come closer to you. Now press. So this here, you want to be all parallel. Yeah, your shoulders, chest, hips, feet are all pointing forward. And press. Go sit. Nice one, lift. And press. That's why exactly lean back and squeeze. Now the focus is all oblique, side glute, side thigh. And up. Or oh, modification, don't go so low. Yeah. And you're pressing with the outside of the feet up. Up. That's a modification. Just don't go so low. Go to where you can and lift. Lift. Yes, guys. Here is eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Guys, hold it here. Move the leg behind your hip and come back. So, it's go behind and back. And now, basically, you're tucking under slightly and leg behind. Back and leg. But you are on your side. Back. Pressing back. Forward. Back. Back. Last two. And now, guys, hold it here. Hamstring curl. And send it back. Yeah. So curl. The knees stay behind the hips. Basically, you're doing this without arching the back. You are really working right up the hamstrings and the, and, the, and the glutes. Double time, guys. So here, we bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Four more, here's four, and three, and two, guys. Now keep that leg bent. Now wrap the foot in the direction of your head. So basically, you are trying to push the heel to your head. So try to push the heel towards your head and wrap it back, back. And if you want more challenge, exactly, hand behind the head, elbows to the side for eight, seven. Into this oblique, guys, come on, break, squeeze, and press. Here's five, four, three, two. Hold it here, guys, now. Straighten out the leg, circle, 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 small circle, circle. Oh, my God. Here's four, four, three, three, two. Two and hold it here. Now halfway down and lift back up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Just two more. Inhale. Exhale. This is your break. Last one. And now hold it here. Move the leg behind you again. Circle the other direction. Now if you're feeling this in the back, you are not sucking enough. So it's right up the side, guys. Yeah, circle. Yeah, well done. Let's circle. Circle. Here's four. Three. To hold and now bring that knee in front of the hip and then flick straight, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, four more. Yes, yeah, so modification, you come up a bit higher. Yeah, and point, flex, point, four more, and four. I know I did say four already. Two more. <laughs> now, last one, hold it here. Turn it out, in. Turn it out, yes. Now, this is very, very, very challenging and very advanced. So the only option is to come up a bit lower and focus on this turn out, turn in. Yeah, turn into the hip socket. I know, it feels fabulous, doesn't it? Isn't it sweet? Make it juicy, guys. Now, for those of you who, who wish to do more, you lift up, 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 and back down. But the whole time turning in and out. It's out. Now, if this is plenty enough for you, just stay down, but don't stop moving. Yeah. So just stay down and just work on this out, in, out. There you go, Joe. That's it. Now, for the rest of you, since you've been with me for a while, you go up, 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 and come back down, down, down. Two more, guys. Come on. Up, 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 and back down. It's horrible. Well done. One more, one more. Come on, up. Now we're going to freeze at the top here. Now press, press. Well done. Press. Just go up. Come on. Last eight, and up, and up. So making sure you flip over to the side, Joe. Yeah, exactly. So you can be quite high up, but you're still on your side. It's eight, seven, six. Let it burn, everybody. Four, three, two. Now grab the leg, bring it in, and have a stretch. Well done, everybody. Go to figure four. Now we got an idea. Same thing to the other side. The other side will feel easier, always. <laughs> well done. Have a little stretch. Whatever you need to. We will have a big, nice stretch for the best spine after this. Now you've got to really engage your abs, otherwise your back will take over when the glutes get tired, yeah? So from here. That's why when people have lower back problems, usually you want them to strengthen the glutes and the core. That's sort out the back problem. So we go back to the second position, which we had. Yeah, remember your hydration, guys. Get some water in. Hands down the hips to make sure you're nice and square. Yes, exactly. Don't rush. 
If I know you're drinking, I wouldn't be, I will never rush you if you want to drink. So take your time. Although the rest of everybody else will have to be in plea and wait. <laughs> oh, come on, in the, in the, when we're at Virgin Active, I made them wait in plank. And then people go out for a drink and come back, everyone was waiting in plank. <laughs> I don't think I did that to you, Andrea, but I did that at Brogate <laughs> sometimes. It's down, are we all back? Yes, fabulous, now. And now, so we're gonna move the left leg. Yeah, just now we focus on the one leg, now we go to the other leg and into the second position. Hugging a friend, hugging a friend, two friends, and four, three, now stay steady. Now heel up, heel down. So into the other leg now, heel up, and double time, guys. Here we go, it's up, low, up, low. Two more, now hold it up, now watch first, lean into that foot for a bit stretch. So lean over, let the foot stretch out like that. Yeah, over those toes. Oh, it should feel good. Come back to center. Let's sit, sit, sit. Yes, press, go sit. Nice one. So you only go as low as you can. The moment you feel like you want to do that, you have gone too far. So really, really upright and press. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two arms into second. Now turn and open. Yes. Go turn. Everything turn. The only thing that's not moving is this anchor leg. Yeah. That's it. Last one. Now open. Now I have to flip around because I am using the same wall. Yeah. So let's back off into the wall. Now the feet legs are at least as wide as the hips, maybe slightly wider. The priority is that you are not creating a situation where you go into a weird twist. So heel. Heel and the soles of the foot right up to the wall, a toes on the floor. Now you're in the weird sort of semi-split position. If balancing feels weird, that probably means you're crossed over too much here. So you want the legs slightly wider. Yeah, that's it. And now when you're ready, you see my um, one straight line from my head to the back heel. And then you start to bend the back leg and bring the body up. Yeah, so you, you never crush into the lower back. Yeah, and sit high. Are we all in there? <laughs> split squat. It's called split squat. So you're splitting the work equally in two legs. Let's drop. Drop, if you're able, get those two perfect 90 degree angle. And press, and drop, and drop, and drop. Well done, everybody. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Nice and well done, Joe. That's what the chair is for. Hold it here, front heel is up, and low. Front heel is up. If this is a bit wobbly, hold down and do very slowly. If not, otherwise you might spring the ankle. So do really slowly, yeah. Two more. Now hold on both tippy toe, tippy toe arms in fist. Let's sit. If you don't want to let go of your hold, just hold down to your chair. Press, press, on 10 toes. Here's eight, seven, six, five. You got the stretch coming up. Three, two, both uh, heel come down and have a quick stretch. Oh my God. Now coming back, keep the heel down. And now as low as you can, come up two inches. As low as you can. This leg is my good one, so I am able to touch the floor and come up two inches as low as you can. Four more, guys. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Sorry, three, two more. <laughs> nice one. Last one. Low as you can, come up now. Back to on 10 feet, tippy toe. Hold last eight counts on your toes, guys. Four. Can you bend some more? Come on, flow down some more. Three, two. Oh my God, straight now. Now, you are gonna then make sure your chair is over to your right side, like my like fireplace is on my right, because I'm going to move the other leg. Sit into the plie and lean, yeah? So sit into the plie and lean. And down, and up, and that's it. So straight down in the middle and lean over. And down in the middle, shh. Now some of you have been with me for a while, if this twist, it's not gonna confuse matter, then add a little twist. And now double time, guys. So here's down, up, down. It's a twist, so it's not a side lounge, yeah? You're twisting in second position. Four more, Shh. up, three more, Shh. up. Last two, oh. last one, guys, three. Ah. This is a nice comfy bit. And flex the foot, now press, press. Modification, yeah. Just bring yourself up higher, exactly. So you are working the side, that's it. And you're pressing with the outside side, outside of the foot, pressing out, out. So it's all about the side line, all the way up. And for eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three now, guys. Pull the abs in tight. Suck the summer in. Legs back. Nice. So we press back and in. Back. You got to really suck the summer in here. Otherwise, you'll go to the lower back. You're thinking about back. Yeah, it's the hamstrings and the glutes. It's a lift. That smiley line right at the bottom there. And lift. The back of the leg is so important because we spend our day, yeah, computer or sitting, even if it's not computer. So we're going to really activate it. Now, guys, hold that leg behind you. The leg is behind you. Curl, stretch, curl, stretch. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Four more. Yes, four. If it's a modification, modification just come up a bit higher. Just come up a bit higher. Now, hold it here. Now, you're going to wrap the heel towards the direction of your head. So you're going to go that way, yeah? But you're going to be on your side. Wrap it back, back, back. So my foot is trying to reach the door there, yeah? Wrap it back that direction. Press, wrap, and wrap it back for eight, seven, six. Your whole, whole, whole leg should be on fire. Four, three, two. Straighten the leg circle. Remember which direction is circle. Modification. Just come up a bit higher by staying on this side. Circle. Yeah, modification. Exactly. Circle. So, but right now, even modification, I'm using right up. And four, three. Now, guys, hold it here. Inhale and exhale. Three more. It's your breather. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out, guys. Last one. Inhale. Now it's back. Making sure the leg goes back behind you. Circle the other direction. Circle. Pull the abs in. Really zip up your core set. Rib cages are in. For a modification, that's what I do. That's perfect. Just lift that leg slightly off the floor. Keep working. Well done. And four. Even this perfect is perfectly fine, yeah? And three and two. Well done, everybody. Now bring the knee in front of the hip. We stretch, bend. Stretch, bend. Modification, stretch, bend. Simply bring it lower. Go, stretch, and bend. Hand behind the head, elbows to the side. For four and back. Come on, Andrew. I can see you are late. Last two. Now, guys, hold it in front of you. Lower the leg if you need to. Turn now, parallel. So exactly, for modification, stay on this angle, but turn it out and back. That's it. So from the hip socket, it should feel like when you had the jab, when you had the injection, yeah? Right there. Oh, yeah. And it pulls up to the abs. Yes. Now, for some of you, let's travel. It's up. Up. Now, don't worry about the height. My leg is low. It's the angle of the camera. You can see the angle camera is from under me. So my leg, is, it doesn't even go past the hip. It, it can sort of reach here. Nice one. Now keep turning in and out. And now turn it out, in, out. This is very advanced. So if you're just barely managing, just keep the leg low. Two more trips, up, 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 up. Bring it back down, down. One more, one more, guys. Come on, this one, we stay up. Hold it here and now press. So imagine my heel is leading the way up. And up, and up, and up. Come on, up. None of you, apart from Joe, who's first time with me, no one else has excuse. Get that leg up. And it's a, yes, Vanessa. Gorgeous. Smile for me, babe. And four, three, two. Well done, guys. Hold the leg. Bring it in. Carefully, gently, gently, gently. Oh, take it to figure four. Well done. Now, our standing sequence is over. Don't worry. If you're feeling a tightness in the back, we'll throw that out now. So move the camera once more. And we're going back to the mat, but we are going to roll down to carefully so get a nice something nice for your back yeah so now standing to one side of the mat feet all parallel but soften the knees hands behind your head now lift the chest now you're pulling pulling the abs in nice and tight and sink your bone your spine inch by inch vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae oh, at the bottom here in her bend the knees now the arms are dead weight so they're really nice to keep there to help you lengthen and straighten the spine and loosen up the lower back. No tension might have built up there. Now inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, slowly straighten. One more, guys. Well done. Inhale, bend the knees. Now keeping the hands there if they are fine with that. If it's too, if it's horrible for your neck for whatever reason, just let the arms flop onto the floor. Now we're going to bend the knees, squeeze your bums and squeeze your abs to roll back up, but everything is relaxed. So at some point, if you're trying to speak, you sound really weird like this, and at some point, and then you press all the way back up. 
one more roll down, guys. Now bend the knees first, soften the knees, and then start to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, pulling the arms in tight, and then really lengthen all the way down. Hands on the floor. Now step the feet in together, so make it a very intense hamstring stretch. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, slowly straight. Well done. Now sit all the way down now, guys. Well done. Now some tricep press. Well done. So, yeah, a few notes. Yeah, uh, I will keep repeating this. I'll come closer to you guys. So, here I right here. So right here, when we do the tricep, you want this, you want to, this is very easily happening with the shoulders. You really don't want this to happen. Shoulders are really made to stay that way. We pick up the bad habits. Yeah. <clears throat> so shoulders up, back and down, chest is open, shoulder blades are engaged. And then keep the shoulders back and down. That's right. Now, the hands, if you have wrists, can't, if your wrists don't allow the fingers to point your bum directly, you turn it out 45 degrees, but not all the way out. Yeah. Now, you want the elbows to come in towards each other every time you bend. Yeah, it's a tricep push. Now, uh, next up, you start to lean back. Feet are hip width apart. And you start to lean back and lift the bum up. Now, from here, the bum is a dead weight. Now, they're not going to do anything for now. You bend, stretch into the arms. Now, if this is too much, you keep the bum on the floor and just do the gentle version. Yeah, to start. Nice. Now, down and stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Don't worry about your pelvis. Leave the pelvis heavy. You're working the arms. Bend those arms and stretch those arms. Nancy, bend the arms. Let me see your arms bend. I can't see. It. Bend it some more. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Four more. That's right. That's how much it feels. Last two. Now, guys, hold it halfway. Elbows in. In. So this here, oh, you can't see my back. Your shoulder blades are kissing. Kissing. Yeah, squeeze. And it's eight, seven. If the back is strong, the good posture will not be a problem, will be easy. Hold it halfway for three and two. Now activate your glutes, push all the way up to tabletop. Now do not fret. The first time I first few times I did this, I think I spent years like that, like this. And then only when I start to get stronger, I was able to go flat. So do not fret wherever you are. Four, three, and two. Now come back, get ready for round two. So down, up. So at no point is the bum touching the mat. It's down, up, and down, up. Eight more down, up. Now, Vanessa, your arms are long and the body is short. Maybe you can try to bring the bum closer to your hands. They say that will make it more challenging, but you see, it's hardly worth doing in my case. <laughs> the arms are too short. Four more. Now, if you have nice proportion, maybe you can try it. Last two. Now, how halfway here, hold it, hold it, just hold still. Halfway, elbows bend, hold it, let it burn. Now, pose in, pose, pose, chest, open shoulders back, shoulders are still back, guys, they're still back, yeah, they're still back, they're not coming back forward, come on, back up, back up, down, and pose, and pose, well done, guys, four more, yes, it's for you, Nancy, can you stop, four, three, two, guys, now have a quick release, and one more press into flat back, flat tabletop, breathe, now gentle swing forward and back, oh, some bits are tighter than the other, yeah, and four, Three, two, well done. Now bring the bum down now. Very carefully, come forward, give yourself a hug. Yeah, it's going to be tight, so very carefully move. Now let's see. Yay! Cool. Nice, really relax over the legs. Now dynamic stretch. So we're going to stretch, but it's going to be quite dynamic. You're going to be still working now. So chest is still open. So mind your posture. So now, yeah, from the waist down, you're going to tuck. But the, from the waist up, you're going to stay open. You're not going to go into a weird, you're not going to see curve. So chest is open, shoulders are back. But from the waist down, you tuck and lean back. But you see up top, you don't change. Yeah. So you're open still. Arms forward. Now from the hips, lift up, tap down. And up. Now the angle of the knee doesn't change. You're not moving from the knee. It's from the hips. It's up, low. Up, low. Hands off, guys. Come on. And up, and low. Now for more challenge, both legs together. And low. Up. Lower. Yes, up. Yes, Joe. I can't believe you don't. You told me you never did Pilates. That's amazing. So up. <laughs> now, guys, hold it here. And then if you want, really feeling this, one finger. And stretch, bend. Stretch. Otherwise, no hands. Stretch, bend. Stretch, bend. Yes, four. Oh, my God. Three. If you need the support, hold down to the side of your thighs with one finger. Last four. Four. Three. Oh, 
I did say we're gonna stretch, right? Hold it here. Now hold on to one leg and roll down, roll down. So you stretch. Now if this is too intense, bend the opposite, bend the other leg. Roll down. And then when you're ready, making sure both shoulders are down on the floor and then using your arms to pull the leg closer to you. And then when, you feel, when you're ready, straighten out the other leg. Nice. And if you don't want to straighten the other leg, they don't want to worry. Five. The end has already straightened that. Four. Three. Now, float the legs to the 45 degrees like we did in the warm-up. Come back up to where you were. Meet me here. Yeah. Hi. Now, hold on to the other leg and grab it down here. Yeah. We call this dynamic stretch. We're still work, very much working out. Yeah. But if you are having trouble with, the, you know, with holding the leg, whatever reason, you should always, you know, you can hold the thigh, wherever you like. Beautiful work, guys. And five, four, three, and two. Now slowly roll back up to where we were. Meet me here. And then back to the first leg. Nice. Hold five, four, three, and now either bend the legs and open the leg out to the side, some hip opener, or keep the leg straight and press the leg out to the side hip opener. As long as both hip bones, both butt cheeks are equally on the floor, and both hip bones are, on, are facing the ceiling squarely. Beautiful, Vanessa. That's it. So it's a hip opener. Yeah, nice. Nice, Andrea. That's it. So imagine this, if it's in a gym situation, I have my knee across both your hips. That's how I adjust this one. Five. Basically, I lean on you. Four. Well done, everybody. Three. Nice one. Now bring the leg back in. Take both legs to 45 degrees and roll back up the other side. Well done. Now the other leg. Come back down. Finding both shoulders on the mat, and then when you're ready, open the leg out to the side. Nothing else is moving. So the, if, you're, if you have the left leg out, the right side of you are just as heavy on the floor as the left side of you. So there's no flipping over. Five, four, three, two. Nice one. Now come back to that tabletop. And then very, the option one, toes on the floor and do gentler twist but to be honest none of you need this easiest version you can all come to 90 degrees making sure your whole spine is on the floor using your abs to lower the legs slowly try it with, before you touch the floor before you have the chance to relax inhale roll over pressing the whole spine into the floor go to the other side the shoulders are glued to the mat the whole time so the core's got to be really involved yeah and otherwise you can keep the toes on the floor and do the same but it's a continuous movement it's dynamic as the core is not get, going to not, not resting just yet. <laughs> and five. Keep it moving. Four. Three. Now, whichever side you end up holding here, very slowly lower both legs onto the floor and look at the opposite direction. For some of you, maybe you want to straighten both legs out. Yeah. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now, we all gently straighten both legs and swipe the top leg across our face into a second position. Straddle stretch and then over to the other side. Now start to bend the knees before you lower. So bend the knees first before you lower both legs down. We'll work to the straight legs later. Some of you can just keep your legs straight. Absolutely fine. Hold the stretch. Five, four, three. Now when you're ready, straighten both legs down and swipe the top leg across your face. Now meet me in the middle for straddle stretch. Bum on the floor. Don't worry about how high the, or how low your legs are. Just find that nice release in the groin area and the inner side. Beautiful, everyone. That's it. And five. You never stop moving. Now take a deep breath in and breathe out. Give your legs final press with your arms. Four, three, two. Nice one. Now keeping the legs in second. Sit up into second. Roll up. Ah, yes. <laughs> well done. Now, that's a little joke. Well done, everybody. Now, breathe in, then turn. Back to that first, when the beginning, how we started the class, so straighten the legs. And maybe you'll find you're a lot looser now. So, start to press the belly button forward. Mm. So, start to press the belly button forward, and your arms will land where they will land. Well done, guys. Breathe in, and breathe out. Surrender. Five. 
four, three, two, fabulous everyone. Now bring the heel close to your bum and rock right over onto your toes. So you want all 10 toes under, all 10 toes, and then you're bringing the knee forward. So yeah, they call it the Thai goddess pose. Now I don't know if that's an instructor having a joke or if it's really called Thai goddess pose. Maybe Andrea can tell me, I should know this. <laughs> So you want the toes really right under, including the little one. Yeah, because the little toe likes to sort of stay attached. Ugh, thanks to shoes. And it's our final minute of the class. We're, we're a bit past seven. Thank you for staying, everybody. I love the evening session. We have luxury of time. Although <laughs> you guys are glutton for punishment, and I love you guys for that. <laughs> You know, I know I was going to see you guys again. I don't know what I was thinking. I had a shower earlier. <laughs> I said, let's go back in again on the shower. Let's see the time. We're here for another 20. I know, try to relax into it. It's like all stretching. It starts off really painful unless you have an injury where it's really sharp and horrible. Otherwise, it's like all stretching is a little uncomfortable. But over time, it becomes comfortable and you enjoy the nice result. Five, four, three, two. Nice one, guys. Come forward. Shake, straighten out those legs. Oh, my God. Now, don't speak until I stop recording. Otherwise, you pop up on the camera. <laughs> 